Oh, we have horses here. Oh, it's nice to have some horses. I wonder, why would they need horses here? What do they do with horses? Why would you need a horse? Go to the shop and bring your groceries back? I don't think so. Arpin, come. No. <gasps> we do not go with the horse. Oh shit, he went with the horse. Arpin, this way, come. Okay, I'm just gonna leave. Yeah, he's coming. Usually when you leave, he comes back. <laughs> That's not a good boy. I feel like with this build work, we're not giving him enough attention. So he's hyper bored and hyper active. And I'm very happy I took him out right now because he was like riding around crazy with that other little dog. And wow, this looks bigger than I thought. Okay, you did come out, okay. No, Arpin, sit. We'll be about one meter, the middle of the will be one meter high. Yeah. Arpin, come on, sir, get the uh, dog. Arpin. Good boy, let me get you water. Historic moment. I've <laughs> been waiting for this moment for the last <laughs> five years. <laughs> yeah. Wow, it, it looks so, so good. It took to get the house that we have to get the G3 rather than the GC. <laughs> <laughs> It's a, it's, it's a good choice, to be honest. It really is a good choice. Oh wow, oh my god, I don't need glasses anymore. <laughs> <laughs> this looks so real. Oh my god, it really feels like I'm there. It's like looking out the window, isn't it? I mean, the screen breaker's still on, so there's a slight level of black. It's such a mess. I'm just trying my best to keep everything clean and tidy. Hey you, I feel I'm most productive when um, no one is around. Also, I'm so happy cats started to come out and go or like the cat tree and explore places and I'm gonna try and clean up because there is no rhyme or rhythm order and it's very stressful. We're going to be in queue to buy a paint and for the showers and we're going to get some trees as well for the towels. Maybe we'll buy some glass. If it's not a being queue, there's a wix. This station is Stone Crossing. This one is so nice. Oh my god, I'm in love with that. Yeah? Do you want to go in the bathroom? Do you want to go in the bathroom? I think Chase will be on that side. For some reason today is turning out to be quite a stressful day. We're trying to figure out where to put the shower shelves, like at which length and whatnot. And then we're like, just put them here. Like it doesn't make, it doesn't make a huge difference. But everyone got crazy mad because they didn't realize that there, would, there was going to be two shower trays. Not trays, but I always imagine there'll be two trays, two shower shelves but they thought there would be one and this changes all the plans apparently and our penis mad because Aman went to Subway to get us food and, and they also told us that it's best to paint, do the paint work before tiling and then patch it up afterwards so we're now picking up the paint we also got the tool to trim the doors because I don't want to be paying the carpenter £200,000 for that and the thing is even if it's not even, even if it's like doesn't turn out good, it's okay still because we will be getting new doors at some point and it doesn't matter. Also we got this um, brushes that you put at the bottom of the door to catch the draught and you know it's fireproofing as well. It's, it's not gonna matter, it's not gonna matter. I wanna cut all doors or put all doors so that we could contain the cats and contain the dog and stuff like that. Anyway, it's 3 p.m. now, it feels like we've done nothing but have a sad challenging day but i know it's not true because we did get a few items and the guys are doing the work in the bathroom and the tv got mounted it's just from our end we didn't do much so it feels like it's a wasted day but it's not because we're both so stressed and tired and monetary aspect of it everything is just costing us more than we ever imagined it's stressful can't find items that we need so it's a mess it's kind of chaotic and I find myself needing to just have my space without anyone talking. This is the current state of the shower. As you can see, they were able to put the hardy backer here so you can tile straight on top. They also reconfigured 
the pipes to come from here, not from here. So shower will be here on this side. It just makes sense to, to do that so that our, our end coves were a good size. Then they also reconfigured this thing at the bottom so the waste pipe would be there as opposed to underneath so that our shower tray, this one, looked like it was almost flush with the floor and they still need to finish that of course but they'll get to that in a bit. Very dirty right now, a lot of dust. We need to be painting the ceiling and painting the walls before we start the tiling project which starts on Monday. I'm gonna cover everything, I'm gonna try to prepare this wall for painting but we definitely need to paint the ceiling. The ceiling isn't too bad but um, no, I can see some stuff there that's like what the hell is that? I'm gonna be painting everything but first I need to clean everything out. And yeah, this is the mattress, this is the bed. As you can see everything is everywhere. And this room doesn't have a carpet yet. We're waiting for the carpet to come through. Aman was able to get rid of the wallpaper with the steamer that we have. We got this special thing to cover the manifold here, which looks exactly, well, the wood, the look of it, the design of it is very similar to the design of the bed frame that we got. Arpin, this is not a good place for you. I would forget to tell you, we got a special planer. It's called, gosh, I'm learning so many words and so many tools and their purposes. We got an electric planer to trim all doors because the levels of our floor raised because of our heating and everything. Our doors need trimming and as opposed to paying a carpenter quite a bit of money, we just got a tool and we're gonna do it ourselves. I'm very excited about it. It's coming tomorrow. So tomorrow we're gonna trim the doors, put the doors in. Yeah, it's things are gonna be hopefully moving forward a little faster. How are you liking my new look? <laughs> Based on the previous experience, I don't really want to get any more paint in my hair. Possible to take out. All possible by it takes forever and I just I'd rather not. I'd rather avoid all of that. So that's going on. Glasses are going on and this is going on because... Okay, so the ceiling has been plastered quite unevenly over here. All of this weird stuff just needs to go. It needs to be sanded down. Also, all of this uneven edges, all of that stuff. I need the ceiling to be super straight so also have the tape the special tape that you connect the plasterboards and the other stuff like jointing tape and then one day if i'll have to use it most probably will have to use it or i don't know we'll have to see i'm gonna i'm gonna send and see and as you can see i've already covered everything and just gonna send and then prime and paint This is jointing tape and this is stick around multi-purpose adhesive that our guy used for the carpets. Let's see if this will work. Oh, it's probably sticky. Now I'm gonna put one here as well because it's gonna have one. This one, I don't know what's up with this one. Look at me. Not measuring things properly. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta go with your gut, right? Just gotta go with your gut, things are gonna be fine. Okay, okay there was nothing, not enough adhesive underneath here, but I really don't know how to get it underneath there. RPG. Okay, this, this thing, this spray glue is not the perfect solution because, I don't know, it takes forever to dry and stuff and it just sometimes, I don't know, it's difficult to apply really. Okay, so long as this part is done, it's all I truly care about because we're painting the ceiling today and tomorrow we'll just glue this properly. So long as this part is in, we are good. Last night we were so tired again, uh, we didn't clean up the kitchen, went for, went 
just about to go to sleep and realized that some of the like re really important items are missing and like we, we had to find them we realized that some of the medicines are missing we had to find them urgently and oh my god we searched every single freaking box in the house everything three times <laughs> and we couldn't find it oh my god an hour and a half later we found the box the box that we didn't look at of course before it was kind of organized chaos right every single box was where it needed to be it was somewhat nice now everything is like everything's all over the place and i'm like it takes i feel like one of the biggest challenges right now oh almost open uh one of the biggest challenges right now is to oh, God, um, come is keeping everything clean and tidy oh, at least to some extent but i feel like finding the items that we need oh my god it's crazy it's almost it feels like a mission every time also for getting things to different levels like scissors and stuff we really need to have a pair of scissors on every level especially right now when we're like cutting things and opening things <laughs> anyway i'm gonna spend some time trying to tidy up this area and then i will most probably because we are expecting our plumbing guys to come in, so we won't be able to paint any bathrooms or showers, but I will be able to paint my room. So I will most probably end up painting my room so that at least one of the rooms is semi ready to go. We still need to put skirting boards down and buy them. But that could be done afterwards. Because once the room is painted, I will then be able to set up the table, unpack a few things. Because right now we don't have all of the storage is somewhat blocked there's like doors in our wardrobes yes you heard me right there's doors in the wardrobe <laughs> wardrobe is like quite tall so they just put them there all of the storage spaces are like unavailable so to speak so oh look at it all of this i feel like i can just like all these are kitchen items but it seems like we don't have enough kitchen space storage so we need to buy a cupboard or something but I feel like we can just move them away out of sight at least. We don't need them urgently. My drums will go in the garage. I'll most probably do that now so that that's out of the way. Every single box we take away makes a huge difference. A huge difference. It's out of the way and it feels better. <laughs> also, it's King's Coronation Day. So, happy King's Coronation Day. I'll definitely be watching that. Oh, do you want to play with me? Do you want to be a orange? Do you want to play with me? Okay, so they're kind of very curious about everything. Okay, so um, <clears throat> as you can see, all of the boxes are open. Everything is all over the place. So I need to tidy this area up and paint my room. So the floor is covered, our flats are covered, the door is covered, the ceiling is covered. I've fixed up the ceiling as well, the paint that was um, needed to be fixed in. We're watching the coronation of the king and painting the room as you do. First thing is to put the primer on and then coat the paint. It's the same color. of you as a professional painter of years and years of experience literally and what are you doing right now are you I'm priming the walls priming the walls see professional painters prime walls basic basic you know, basic bitch painters don't prime it <laughs> it's so insane how in my head in the morning when I woke up I was like this room is perfect and then I It takes a long time to, to paint. All First, you color everything, you make sure the wall is centered down and clean. And, I mean, what time well, is it now? It's no, around 12. The thing is, <laughs> no, I thought maybe one, that's why I thought one wall at a time, Mary, because then you, while one wall is drying off the actual paint coat, you can do the primer. 
because the primer shouldn't get any dust on it when it, in between the paint being applied. No, no, you're right for a sec. Okay, then we're going to have a tram. Ooh, look at you! Ah, oh, this is so much better than the freaking white thing they've had before. Wow. So the only issue that we have got is obviously there's some warm... The primer is still... I think it's actually dry already. I'm a little concerned that it is turning out to be darker than I expected. I didn't want a bright orange. I mean, I'm not super against it, but I really wanted pale terracotta. But Definitely the best choice I've made out of all of the paints I've seen. This is the perfect one for me. I'm about to start painting and I am now doubting my ability because everyone's like, are you gonna paint yourself? I'm like, yeah. Should I be aware of something? Like, what's going on? Yeah, I'm not like, what? Why is everyone saying that it's... I mean, of course it's a hard job and I, I know that it's not going to be perfect and I'm okay with it. I just wanna... I just wanna paint it. All right, let, let's try this. So far, so good. I'm actually quite surprised and relieved and happy. Let me show you what I mean. See this wall? All these lines that you can see and stuff. This wall has just been primed, so that's why you can see all of that stuff. But this wall has just been painted. It's looking good. It's looking really nice. And this is a better comparison, I suppose. And very happy with the colour as well. All anxiety is gone. Just waiting for my mom to get back with food. I'm so hungry non-stop since seven o'clock you will not believe it it is four o'clock four o'clock it took me eight hours precisely eight hours non-stop i did not stop for perhaps one second i think i spent 10 minutes cleaning something i don't know eight hours on one room what the hell and i'm fast okay i mean sometimes i was just doing it for the soul like trying to do it very nicely but eight hours one room oh my god I really, really, really thought it would take me two hours max. Anyway, it's looking very good. I love it. It's still drying, of course. Not like I hated the white walls. White walls look very nice and neat and everything. But I always wanted to have something like this. I could have had just one wall, but I really, really am happy with how it turned out. I'm very hungry. Aman went out to get a lot of stuff and he had food out. So I'm just gonna have my pot noodles and my comfort food. <laughs> Please don't judge. And there's so much stuff to do. So, I mean, for now, I just wanna have some food. Aman is on a mission. I think he is working to make a lock, right? Yep. Okay. He measures everything perfectly. The I only thing that matters is the there. middle. Power mode now. Okay. Awesome. Perfect. Okay, you gotta know something. About two weeks ago, I was like, we need to hire someone to put a lock in. I'm like, can we do it ourselves? He's like, no, 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 no. We need to hire someone. <laughs> Look at him do it. Um, I'm just very happy. He's making such great progress. <laughs>